there. Today we made automatic sand watering system in Tinker Cat. Now I'm starting. First you open Tinker Cat, this is a Tinker Cat tech board. Here you can see we have to make different type of project and simulate also. Now first we click on the create button, then we have to click on the circuit. After wait some time, and Tinker Cat is opening. Now the deck board is open now. The deck board is open now. And first of all we search Arduino UNO. Then drag and drop here. After that we search a broad moisture sensor. We are making an automatic sand water system, soil moisture sensor. This is a soil moisture sensor. Now we connect the soil moisture sensor to the Arduino. In the soil moisture sensor there is three terminal, power, ground and signal pin. Power pin connects to the five pole of the Arduino directly connect to the five pole. I have connected the five pole and also make the color red and GNG connect to the negative terminal of the Arduino. Connecting the negative terminal. Now it's connected to the negative terminal of the Arduino. After that, we connect, also change the color black. Now connect the signal pin. Signal pin is connected to the any digital pin of the RD. I have connected 5 pin of the RD. to make yellow pin. Now we have to make a soil moisture sensor code. First we communicate with Arduino and soil moisture sensor. Click on the code section. This is the code. Then delete the code, block code. When you are using a sensor, then you have to create a variable. Click on the variable and click on the create variable. connected to the 5 digital pin then we go to the entry block and take a read digital pin also select 5 now we have to see the value of soil moisture sensor in the display then go to the output block and take print to serial monitor in the hello world we have to put the block of soil moisture sensor now code is completed, now start simulate and see, open the serial monitor and you can see value is showing 0. Then click on the soil moisture sensor and showing this is a wet condition, dry condition. If I increase this to the wet condition then value is 1. Sensor is using, if the sensor is in water, sensor is in the moisture then give the value 1. Otherwise, value gives 0. Now we have to take connect some LED to indicate on and off signal. Take a small breadboard. I have taken a small breadboard and put it here. Also take two LED. Red LED and green LED. How to make a green LED? Simply click on the LED and change the color from green. Also take one resistor. The resistor will decrease the flow of current from the RGB to LED. You have to put any anode and cathode. In 
Lambda LED is the two terminal. One is anode and one is cathode. Anode means positive and cathode is negative. Negative terminal, cathode terminal connects to the Zonally of the Arduino. red block is showing then click then wire will be connected so make the wire black because it's on the other and on and also to connect to the any digital pin of the Arduino I have connected to the 10 terminal and green LED I have connected to the 9 pin of the Arduino the LED is connected now we have to make a port from the LED click on the port section and take a control block go to the if else block put it if else block and we compare the soil moisture sensor we will tell soil moisture sensor reject the moisture then value is 1 otherwise value is 0 go to the math block and take this block and in the first block we have to put the variable block and click here and equal to 1 if the sensor value is 1 then red LED is on go to the output block we have to put 2 blocks 1 and 2 red LED is connected to the 10 pin of the Arduino 10 and green is connected to the 9 pin of the Arduino to put the value and interchange this when sensor is in dry condition then green LED on otherwise red LED on condition then green LED on now sensor is in wet condition then red LED on also decrease the value of resistor value you have to put 330 ohm kilo ohm to ohm also change this value also 1 kilo to 330 ohm kilo to ohm now we have to put motor and we have to put the water pump we we'll take a motor I have taken one motor relay module relay module is work as a switch automatic switch and now take a supply I have taken the supply also Relay is work as a switch. Now, terminal 12 connect the supply. Supply of the positive terminal make a red. And terminal 8 connect to the digital pin of the Arduino. Terminal 8 connects to the digital pin of the Arduino. I have connected 7 pin of the Arduino. Connected. And the terminal 6 connect to the load of the motor. Any terminal of the motor connected the relay pin and terminal 5 connect to the negative of the RT it is a negative terminal and make a black and one terminal of the motor is connect to the second pin of the supply now the circuit is completed we have to make a port 
for the motor also. Click on the port section. Confusion, you also comment also. You can see all blocks, everything is given in the display. Now today's project automatic like the project name automatic. Plant watering. the name of 